Welcome to the Swim Swam Podcast. I'm your host, Coleman Hodges. Joining us today, we've got USC freshman star breaststroker, Caitlin Dobler. Caitlin, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. It's it's great to sit down and talk with you. You're just coming off of your first Pac-12 championships. Can you take me through the meet and how you felt about your swims there? Um, the meet was a lot of fun. I was really glad that we had just had the opportunity to be there in the first place because that was uncertain, especially at the beginning of the season. Um, I was really excited to go with my teammates and just see how everything went. It was my first Pac-12s and um, I was going in with not with many expectations. I obviously wanted to swim fast, but um, we were given the opportunity to have a fifth year. So our coaches were saying that this was our free year to figure out um, what we're um, going to do. And I was really happy with how I swam. Um, I was able to drop time in the tuna breaststroke. And that was um, something that I hadn't done in a while. And to be able to swim consistently 57 in the hundred was also a, uh, really encouraging, especially going into NCAAs and then trials later this year. Yeah. Like you said, the, that fifth year just brings a lot of, uh, a lot of oddness to to the sport and to, to the NCAA realm. How do you feel like that knowing that you had the option of a fifth year, um, affected your mentality in your freshman season? It definitely took a lot of pressure off, um, which was good, especially since this year, there's been a lot of pressure to see um, if I'm going to be able to get back to where I was last year before quarantine. Um, And I think that helped a lot. The idea that um, I still have a really long ways to go in college swimming and um, that the coaches were really good about saying that this is just a year for everyone to try to figure out where they are in swimming and um, that like created an environment that made it really easy to swim fast. So so you mentioned feeling pressure about getting back to where you were pre-quarantine. Do you you feel like the quarantine was a good thing for you overall? I mean, it's, it is hard to perform at that level, at the level that you did and and then not be able to swim for a while. Right. Can you, can you talk me through, how the quarantine affected you, maybe good and bad? Um, Yeah, at the beginning, I was, um, honestly, when quarantine first started, I was expecting to tap last two weeks, maybe a month. (laughs) Um, And clearly that wasn't the case. So at the beginning, I had just um, been saying it won't take me that long to get back into it um, because I'm not going to be out for that long. And then as that time got longer and longer, I just started to get more and more worried about it. But it was actually very encouraging to see people on the East Coast as their pools opened up a lot sooner than the ones in Oregon did. Um, They were able to compete and they were already going times that like breaking nag records and um, going best times. And that was really encouraging and inspiring to see. And um, I think that actually helped me a lot mentally. Um, And so I was looking at it more as a break that I, cause I really hadn't taken a break for the and swimming for the past 10 years. Um, so I just decided to look at it like a well-needed break and, um, coming back into it, it was definitely a bit of a challenge at first, but I was just so happy to be back in the pool and training with my team, um, that it was, um, it reminded me a lot of the things that I love about swimming and that made it a lot easier to come to practice and work hard every day. Yeah. And I mean, and then freshman season is such a transitional period. Freshman year is such a transitional period for anyone, um, you know, that 18, 19 age. And, you know, obviously with the, with the pandemic weirdness um, that adds just a whole new layer of things you can and can't do. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like the transition went well for you this year of, um, of just getting through that freshman year of college? Um, I think initially it was really hard because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to even come down to USC to train um, because the pool had been closed for a while since the cases in LA were um, so high. But um, once I was able to come down and I got settled in, then it was, it was honestly kind of a nice way to start college because um, my classes were, I didn't have to figure out what buildings they were in or like, I wasn't running around campus looking for everything. So it was a more of a way easing into 
um, college life. Um, and it was, um, definitely like, I, I'm looking forward to next year as sort of a second freshman year because, um, I didn't experience like the full, um, breath of what it means to be a freshman. And so it was, it was definitely like a transition year. So I think it made it actually a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there was a clientele change at USC. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was after you had already committed to USC. Um, was was that was that a factor for you at all? Were you able to? I'm I'm guessing you spoke with the coaches, and um, can you talk me through that process once you found out that it wouldn't be the same coaching staff when you had initially committed? Um, yeah, I actually found out. Um, at a high school dual meet. And, um, so I, I didn't have much time to process it then, but it, I didn't commit to the school solely because of the coaches. So it wasn't even ever a question for me, whether or not I was still going to come. Um, and there was a time like the time when they didn't quite know who the next coach was going to be. That was a bit more uncertain, but once they started announcing the new coaching staff, then it, especially since, uh, coach Kip previously coached at USC and both uh, Coach Megan and Coach Chase were swimmers at USC. It um, seemed like it they would continue with the same kind of training program that um, had been under Salo. And that was something that um, had really drawn me to USC just because that's sort of along the same lines of how I trained at home. Hmm. And so during this freshman season, was, was the training something you felt like you really had to adapt to, or do you feel like you were already kind of used to it? Um, I did not do doubles or lift weights in high school. So that was probably the biggest transition for me. And, um, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, just cause it gave me like two times throughout the day where I got to do, um, like workout and I, um, enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would actually. Um, so it was definitely a bit more yards, but the, um, like the fundamentals of the training itself wasn't too different from what I did at home. So that was really nice. And then, I mean, what was it like just to have a team around you that, you know, that are all athletes kind of on your same level? That, that was really cool. Um, especially this past weekend, it was, um, the, the last day of the meet, there were a bunch of a finalists from USC and it was so much fun. Like one heat after the other of cheering and, um, um, the support from, I mean, we were a small group of girls this year too. So the support from every single one of them for every single person's race was really, um, fun to see. And, uh, I, my team at home is relatively small as well. So it was nice that I found a similar culture, um, that I had back home. And that also made the transition easy and it, um, made it a, a really, really great weekend. Nice. I did coming into college, coming into your freshman year, did you have goals that you had wanted to achieve either in the pool or just outside of the pool for you as a person? Um, I wanted to break Sony's record. That was, um, something that I had, I, she's been my idol since I was really young. Like I, she was the first, um, Olympian that I really looked up to. And, um, so doing that, um, uh, breaking the school record at the UCLA meet was, um, a really great moment because I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to do it freshman year going in. Um, and I, that just makes me excited to see what I can do, um, in two weeks, but also for the next four years that I have. Yeah. And I mean, you mentioned the coaching staff wasn't the only reason you, you were wanting to go to USC. Um, could you, could you tell us about the other reasons or what drew you to USC initially? I mean, part of it was academic. Um, they have a really good engineering school. And since I'm doing mechanical engineering, that's something that I was really looking for in a school, but it was also, um, the culture team culture was really important to me. And, um, on my recruiting trip, I really felt like they were a family and, um, that has definitely been, um, something that I've really appreciated over these past couple of months being down here. It's, I feel like I've known them for a really, really long time, even though I, I really just came down here in October. And, um, so that was something that, I was really looking for in the recruiting process. And I was um, really glad that I found a team that embodied that. 
Yeah. And, and just outside of the pool, um, how, how have they made things easier to get through this, this year, or have you found other things that have helped you get through this year, just with all these COVID restrictions? Um, it's, it's been difficult, especially since I live, uh, like I don't have a roommate. Um, but, uh, we have been doing like, even before I came down to USC, the captains were really good about trying to get everyone on zoom and doing like little skits on zoom and activities, which was, um, a lot of fun. And it was, um, I mean, I am feel like I'm lucky because I am the upperclassmen know what it's like to be in college in normal times and they know exactly what they're missing out on, but I don't. So, um, that, um, I'm excited for what the next years have in store, but for right now, I'm pretty content with the way it is. Um, and it, it made it a little bit easier just because, um, I, everything down here is new and exciting. And even if it's not in a big group of people, it's, it's still a lot of fun. Have you gotten to go out and see parts of LA at all? Um, I've done a little outdoor dining. Um, but other than that, I haven't, um, I went to see some of the Kobe Bryant murals, um, cause the artwork was really, really cool. Um, but other than that, I haven't really seen much of LA. So that's something else I'm excited for. Yeah, the, fair enough. Um, well, Caitlin, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit down and chat for a little bit. Any parting thoughts before we sign off today? Um, no. You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swam podcasts on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.